in a land not so different than our own, the Heartswell Domain stands tall against the armies of darkness. Illuminated by a saintly individual, no darkness could pierce his light. Until the Great War, upheaval to the Domain began, a battle between the forces of darkness and bringers of light. Amidst the battle, the brave, saintly individual thrusted into a dimensional portal, left to face a new world alone. Last time on Lavacraft, St. Lavathar found himself thrust into a new world. Building a temporary sanctuary, he gathered diamonds to expand the border to unlock a land far to the east to access the first domain power. Hey guys, this is St. Lavathor and welcome back to Lavacraft. I've been doing a little bit of stuff off screen since uh, we were here last, mostly just with villagers. Let me show you guys what I have so far. I have down in this little hole all the villagers I'll ever basically need. That's actually not true. I'll need more. Just some basic stuff. But uh, I got the lovemaking spot for villagers. I don't know why that one's missing. But then I got all the villagers here. Um, I'm going to go through this because there's a lot here. These these two guys are the great, great granddaddies of all the villagers. One's a weaponsmith. One's a toolsmith. Just to give me those sweet, sweet tools I need. But uh, since I am a hero of the village, as you can see here, I get that from this class. Um, I'm going to get better trades with them. So I've been doing trades for glass. We trade glass blocks from these guys. Here, I'll just go in. No, stop giving me stuff. They like giving me stuff. Uh, I'll just go here, grab some glass. Yep, get some levels. Go over here, turn it into glass panes. Uh, trade with these guys. And bippity boppity boo. We got emeralds. Um, I've, I've noticed uh, from for about, you know, 16 emeralds can turn into 32 pretty quickly. Especially if they're doing two. If it's two glass panes. So this, if you guys notice, two is pretty cheap. Um, I got Hero of the Village and also Cured. It was one, but then went back up to two for a bit. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Why it was one for a while. But yes, all of these villagers are cured. I have every single enchant except for density five i have density four close enough most of them are one there's a few that aren't but i also have a guide if you notice here i have a01 on this side and then over here b01 and then chance my guide i'm going to explain it a bit is uh if it has a plus sign that means it's like the best trait there's no other aqua along here that's better if it has an x that means it is of the highest level but uh, there's a better trade somewhere else if it has a minus, that means there's a higher level, like Blast 2 is not the highest. And then if it's equal sign, I think, yeah, I'm breaking, that means equal something else. And so it's like, well, where's Feather Falling 4? I need to find that. Well, we go to this book. We go right here, Feather Fall 4. B07. We'll go to B07. Just right down here. And there it is, Feather Fall 4. We can look on the, this is one of the more expensive one. I need to redo a few, but 20 isn't too bad. Most of them are 1. So that is nice. Most of them just being one. Let's try another one. Um, we'll go to Unbreaking 3, AO7. AO7 is right here. Unbreaking 3. And it's right there. There we go. One, one, one emerald. Not bad. I did cure these guys. I did it through a special baptism chamber here. I got it drowned. He's wearing a zombie villager's head. Don't ask. Um, drones are finicky. They don't like to be, they don't like to attack people during the day. So what I had to do was I had to waterlog him. See, this guy's not attacking me, but if I waterlog him, then he'll start attacking me. So I had to basically get villagers in here and then I would trap them. They'd get right in here. And then I would shower them with holy water. The guy would zombify them. Their, their sins would emerge and then... I would get them out, make them follow me, and cure them. It worked out pretty good. It was uh, it was pretty efficient, and I got them all cured. The biggest thing is I just had to buy some stuff from Rogue. Rogue bought me some gold to make gold apples. Otherwise, I had everything else. Guys, this next guy, don't worry about him. I also have a couple of food vendors. I've been saving up food here, and then there's this guy down here who also does food, but I don't have anything for him. And yeah, that's my villagers. I got everything unlocked and everything good to go. And because because we have a reason. If you notice, our, our new base over here, the this land of life, 
isn't fully unlocked. The spot I actually want to build the temple and the walls to protect it is not unlocked yet. See, there's the border wall already. Let me get right up there. Whew, bit of a climb. Okay, back up here. Yeah, back in this little dip, this little bowl, um, there's a border wall. And I really don't want to go mining diamonds again. That was painful. So I figured, let's get other people to mine diamonds for us. Yes, that's right. We're going to set up a shop. I have the plan. I have an idea. And I think that will be great. We're going to sell books. People need enchantments to do better. There's lots of other lost strangers around the world. And we can set up a shop and make diamonds that way. It's perfect. Uh, before we start gathering all those materials, though... I do want to show you guys, I have been working on the nether a bit, because the nether is very, very scary for me since I don't heal there. Let's go in there. I've been connecting a few places up to the nether. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, here we are. For in case you didn't know, traveling in the nether is eight times as fast as traveling the world. So if I walk one block here, it's walking eight there. If I walk 100 blocks here, it's walking what, 800. 800? Yeah, that's the right math. Don't do math. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a lot faster. So I just put a few paths down. Nothing super special. All these golems kept appearing through here. But they've been killing skeletons, so I'm fine with that. So I've connected this to my sanctuary island, as well as the shopping district. And I think Rogue has connected up to it. I just put some simple signs here like this. Uh, we do have a few places like gas and skeleton spawn. The biggest problem is we have a lot of... A lot of places that magma keeps spawn, and those are a lot harder to deal with as you can't just jump around. Like this skeleton, I can just be like, bippity boppity boo, see you later sucker, and just keep going and just heal up when I get back. That goes to the shopping district. Let's head on over to my base, the, the place where I have chests and stuff, Sanctuary Island. I've tried putting buttons down to stop magma cubes. It seems to be working, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I think they just still spawn of like higher up or on these ledges and stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I eventually will build walls and ceilings. I just haven't got around to that. Rogue helped me build this a bunch. That was super helpful. But this is all I've really gotten down with it. And oh look, no magma cubes this time. There's always a few here. Okay, that I believe goes to yeah Rogue's base. So hopefully everyone else connects up to it so I can find them pretty easy. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, see, I gotta knock these guys back. Sometimes when I come through the portal, they're sitting there too. Uh oh, ouch. And since I don't heal, these guys are very dangerous. Oh, I got a head. Get out of there. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, that is the nether. Um, there are a few issues, but we'll get them fixed out. The other thing we have now is we need to gather materials for the shop. As well as a way to transport them. I can't be transported with this symbol of a Tory. So I'm going to see if Shad and Surge have choker boxes. They did go to the end and see if I can buy a couple from them. Okay, one of the knights named Shad says I could buy shulker boxes from him because they've been to the end already. I just have to find his base. I think this is it. I remember him saying something about him having to transport villagers from his old place. I some. I'm thinking this is pretty close to where he's at. Yeah. Uh, Shad, are you there? Where Where are you? I'm, I've, I brought diamonds. I would like to buy stuff, please. <laughs> oh, what? I hear laughing. Oh, great Shad, the invincible knight of the Cods. I would acquire some shulker boxes. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> what's what? Wait, wait, which, which, which is what? The villager breeder. Oh. I brought, I brought, <laughs> an four, farm. I brought 40 uh, diamonds. Ooh. I, I have three to spare. <laughs> three, three to spare. You need a fortune three pick. <laughs> well, I have one, but I haven't gone mining since, since, well, since that creeper blew me up. Ah. Uh. Oh, lol. <laughs> Those diamonds are just... Okay. I happened to find them on the walls when I was searching for stuff. Also, Eight diamonds, so five. Yeah. Also, so four or five. Okay. So you, also, you want to show off your island? Oh, wait. Not the black one. <laughs> not the black one. I could use that. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
No. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Death. <laughs> I'm collecting heads today, it seems. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, you want to show me what you got going on over here? Uh, literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there, I've I've just been wood cutting, so. It says it's a dark uh, forest. Yeah, well, it was. It was. Here, I'll do an aerial view for everyone. So yeah, I was able to get a few shulker boxes from Shad. I turned one into my diamonds box or riches, as I call it. I turned one into wood box, so I can easily access like saps, different types of woods, and the other three are going to be for just extras for carrying stuff. I've been spending the past like three days gathering materials for my new shop in the shopping district. As you can see here, got lots of goodies, a whole ton here. Um, I don't know why that one's empty, but we need to move it over to the shopping district. And that's gonna be a pain because I don't have a lot. Luckily I was able to buy a couple shulker boxes from Shad. We'll have to just make a couple trips. We also need to find a good spot that's like 25 by 25, maybe a little bit bigger to give us some room. And let's let's start gathering this stuff up and taking it over and just find a nice spot to put it all in. Let me put that back. I think once we find a nice spot, then we can do a little time lapse and just get it all in and just build it in one big go. I think that'll be good, don't you guys think? Okay, guys, we're here at the shopping district. I think I found a spot. I started putting some stuff here. Let's just dump everything we have. I only brought like half of it. But I thought right over here, I'm going to push it back a little bit further. I don't want to be too close to the road. But about here, we're going to have to push it, I think, five, even five more. So, like, really, like, right here. And then it's going to go about 25 back. So, let's see. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, like, about to here. Random chest of stuff we'll have to get rid of. Um... And it'll take up like about that spot. I think that's a good spot. Okay. Uh, let me gather the rest of my stuff. I'll bring it over and we'll hop right into a time lapse of this. Woo! And there we have her all done, guys. Look, we even got a rainbow after this big rainstorm. Um, yeah, so first off, I found these guys. We'll play with them later, but let me kind of show this off a bit. I went ahead and extended this to the road. I'll probably change this later. But let me just showcase this a bit because I really do like this build. This is a build that I 100% just kind of designed on my own. The bottom section uses the detail work of andesite and mangrove planks while the top uses mud and mud brick to make the bottom look a little bit darker and the top a little bit lighter. I did two high boxes using moss 
and leaves and different things, some little boxes there. Uh, again, just kept doing that around the back and the sides. Um, give it a little bit of an, I like the little square boxes because with being a cleric, clerics about order and keeping things in peace and all that. And it boxes kind of represent that. It wasn't coming together at the roof, but I tweaked it a bit and I really like to settled on this design and I think it's pretty nice, especially with the warped wood and a little bit of streaks of the copper. I think it makes it pop really nice. The place is called the Spoken Word. If you notice, first off, the doors will open for you. Pop. But you notice they don't open on their side. I got a little skulk sensor here. See right there, waterlogged? And it's set up to these so it will open them, but I put wool around uh, so it doesn't go, it's only one way. Now, if you get high enough, it will still do it. But we have this little mud room and then a staircase and to enter into the lower section. We have mostly armor and chance as well as the general chance bargain bin and the curses here um, to kind of get at. And of course your essentials. We have a jukebox that's not essential, but anvil, ender chest, you know, a little welcome message. Welcome to the spoken word. Uh, there's a few enchants I don't have because you can't get them from villagers. So, yeah, those I'll have to find some later. Our first secret, though, we do have secrets here, is this guy. Listen very carefully. And it gives you a cookie. <laughs> Listen again. Isn't that amazing? Uh, we do have one of the new paintings. I really like the new paintings that added in. We have uh, a priest of... A, a llama priest. I haven't quite figured out their name yet, but I really like him. He's uh, helping out the shop, a little statue of him. Uh, but then we have more chants. I don't have a mace, but these are the mace and chants. And then same thing over here. I don't have a trident, but these are the trident chants. And then uh, sword ones are all over here. It's a little dark here. My chandelier isn't bright enough. I'm not sure I could try and do probably a lantern here on top. Let me go grab that. Okay, let's maybe just put it like right there. Hopefully that'll help light up a little bit. Yeah, it, it's, it is what it is. Also, if you notice, I got little spores. I think they animate the area, make it look nice coming down, make it look more uh, uh, homely feel, you know, make it feel nice, like even nature likes it. But yeah, I think it came out very nice overall. One of my, for, for a build that I 100% made on my own, I think the only thing I looked up was the chandelier. I looked up that. And then, of course, it has little secrets and stuff in it. Oh, one more secret. I almost forgot. Let me show you guys for this. This is amazing. So the new... Oh, let me... Um, this thing's on. And if you push a button, it's supposed to toggle it. Well, this button... Poof. It doesn't toggle. It doesn't toggle. Um, if someone can explain down in the comments why it doesn't toggle... I want to see if anyone can guess it correctly. If you guess it correctly, I'll respond to you. But why it doesn't turn off when you press the button. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of showcase as much as I can here. Oh, look, it already went dimmed. Um, see if anyone can guess why that turns off. I think it's a cool little thing I did. And I hope someone can guess it because it's pretty simple. Let me get out of here. But yeah, I really like it, especially how it's animated with the doors and stuff. I, I think it came out good. If you guys have any improvements for it, let me know. But I hopefully we can use this to make lots of diamonds and finish off our base and get going on our base because I really need to work on my base. But I think we're going to end there. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers or followers, whatever they're called, so I can do a Steam giveaway. Uh, tune in next week. We are going to use the diamonds to expand the border and start working on our base to get uh, the domain power of life and get our first domain power, which will be exciting.